So this video, this is going to be interesting. So in the previous video, Minal said this. Well, give me 10,000 likes and I will show you 10 reasons why Mac is far superior than any Windows computer. And you guys give 10,000 likes. So you know what that means. Yes, it means I will take over from here. Okay, so you guys wanted it and here I am. 10 reasons why Mac is better than Windows. And see, you all know that I am into Apple ecosystem for a long time. But I genuinely believe that iPhone or any other Apple product are overpriced in India. But in our office, we use Mac as well as Windows. And I genuinely believe Mac are better than Windows. Let's see if I can show my perspective to you. Let's go. Okay, so the first and the foremost reason why people use Mac OS is because of the exclusive software. In fact, I too bought my first MacBook right off college because I wanted to edit videos on Final Cut Pro, which is available only on Mac OS. Now, of course, on Windows, you also get Premiere Pro for video editing and Pro Tools for sound editing. But these are good alternatives that you can even use on Mac OS. And here's another one. I can easily run Windows on a Mac computer via bootcamp for an older Intel Mac or via parallel on a new M1 Mac. But there is no simple way of running Mac OS on a Windows machine. You will either have to build a Hackintosh or you can't simply do that. So the next reason why Mac is better than Windows is build quality. You see, we recently bought this HP Victus and on Amazon, it looked fine and all from the pictures. But when we got this, the screen seems to wobble quite a bit much. And it's not just this laptop. Windows has so many manufacturers, so many models that you cannot trust a Windows laptop just by looking at the pictures online. You will have to physically touch and feel the laptop just to be sure of the build quality. But with MacBook, you can be assured that what you will see is what you will get. And no matter how expensive Windows laptop get, like this premium Lenovo laptop, which costs almost 1.5 lakh rupees, has three stickers. One, two, and three. This, in my opinion, bring the whole laptop experience feels a little bit cheaper. On MacBook, see here, there is no such stickers, no branding, just an Apple logo and a name. That's it clean and tidy. And finally, the third point about the build quality is that this MacBook, I've been using it for two years and it has no issues whatsoever. But I can't say the same thing for a Windows laptop. I will give you two practical examples. So we have been using this Realme laptop for a few months now and already the trackpad has driver issues. Like see, the trackpad just doesn't work. And this Acer 7, this is barely one month old and it already started having Wi-Fi driver issues. And most of the times it doesn't even charge properly. Now, I know just because it happens with us doesn't necessarily mean that it will happen with you as well. But then again, we have many Windows laptop and we have bought many Mac OS laptop. So my point here is if you buy a MacBook, you will have some sort of mental peace that it won't go bad over the years. Okay, so the next reason why I believe Windows is better than Mac is Apple ecosystem. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, well, Minal, to get into Apple ecosystem, you have to spend extra on iPhone and Apple Watch as well. And I get you, you're right. But my point here is even if somebody is willing to spend those extra money, there is no option on Windows. But on Mac, you do get an Apple ecosystem. And once you get into the Apple ecosystem, oh man, it's really good. Like you can receive call from your iPhone directly on your MacBook, or you can even send files very easily using AirDrop. But yeah, these are all very popular features. You know it, I know it. But now with the latest Mac OS Ventura, you can get this new feature where you can use your iPhone as a webcam. Let me show you. So this is called continuity camera. So if I go to photo booth, it shows me the normal MacBook webcam. And now if I go to camera and keep my iPhone like this, and now you can use your iPhone camera as a webcam. But on iPhone, you also get this desk view mode. So if I position the camera at the top of my MacBook, it uses the ultra wide lens to give the near top down view. And I will give you another fun little example. So see, I have this iPad here and now I can use the keyboard and touchpad of my MacBook to operate the iPad. Cool, right? And this is functional too, because I can now easily drag and drop files between both the devices and it works really, really well. Now on Android, well, there is no one solution fit all. Like yes, Motorola does let you use your phone as webcam and then there is Samsung ecosystem as well. We even did a video on that, but the bottom line is it is good, but not as seamless as Apple ecosystem. Okay, another important aspect where Mac is far better than Windows is the productivity apps that are bundled right inside the Mac OS. Let's see if I can open a PPT file in this Windows machine. I can't even preview it. I will have to download PowerPoint or similar app to view it. But on Mac, I can easily preview any PPT file. No need to install any third party software. And then there is exclusive spotlight search. Hey, even Windows has a search option and it has gotten better now. 
yes true windows search option has got a lot better over the years but it is still behind mac spotlight search let me show you because first windows search needs active internet connection so by chance you don't have access to internet it won't work properly but on mac it doesn't need any internet connection for it to work see 5 plus 5 is the simple answer here another reason why i prefer mac over windows is because macbook or technically all the apple products in general have better resale value compared to android or windows so let's put it to test right so we have this two year old macbook air as well as this one month old acer aspire 7 laptop and we will quote both of them at fair market value and post it on olex let's see how this experiment works and as you can see here, we have gotten already a lot of inquiry about the MacBook. And for SR Aspire 7, well, there are very few queries. So my point is, if you buy a MacBook now, you will get a better resale value even after three years compared to what you will get for sure on Windows laptop. Now, another area where Mac is just ahead of Windows is the availability of third-party accessories. So if I'm buying a laptop now, I would like to protect it maybe with a case or a skin. And if I go on Amazon and search for the case for my MacBook M1 Air, see, I get tons of option to select from but if you're using a windows laptop then forget about it high chances that you won't find any cases of skin for it moving on to portability so mac especially macbooks are more portable compared to most windows laptop we recently bought this acer aspire 7 laptop and it comes with this power brick and a separate power cable this is very common with windows laptop and it often becomes difficult to carry this all the time like you will have to buy a bigger bag and it also makes things heavier and it's just inconvenient but with MacBook, you get a Type-C charger. And the best part is you can even charge MacBook with any of the Type-C port. But on Windows, okay, see, this is HP Victus, which has a Type-C port, but you cannot charge from the Type-C port. Now, yes, if you buy an Intel Evo laptop, you can charge via Type-C port, but then not all Windows laptop are Intel Evo certified. Which brings me to battery life. Apple has nailed the battery life with their newer MacBooks. So I use MacBook mostly for my work purposes, like for writing articles, browsing web, watching videos and whatnot. And if I charge my device once in the morning, it can easily last an entire working day. And I've been using this M1 MacBook Air since 2020. So far, it has at 90% battery health which is good. On most Windows laptop, battery won't last more than few hours, like this Acer Aspire 7 on a normal workload lasts only four hours maximum. Now yes, Intel Evo certified laptops like this Realme laptop definitely has better battery life. And then again, like I said, not all laptops are Intel Evo certified. Another reason why I prefer Mac over Windows is because there's just a lot of confusion when you're buying or researching about a Windows laptop. If I go to Amazon and search for laptop, see here, tons of options like there is i3 i5 i7 now you have 10 gen 11 gen and 12 gen 12 gen is 3 you have 5 upgrade card should i get gta 6050 integrated graphic card, card some of the gaming laptops some portable. ultra book some notebook <sighs> oh my god this is so confusing. So suppose if I have a budget of 90,000 rupees, I have to do huge amount of research before buying a Windows laptop. But on the Apple side of things, there are well very few options, which makes selecting a computer an easy task. Now, another area where Mac are usually better than most of the Windows computer is the speaker quality. See, this is an Acer laptop and the speaker is at the bottom of the laptop. So the sound quality is literally blocked, bad design choice. And this is the case with quite a few Windows laptop. And even if the speaker are facing the user, the sound quality is not as good as the MacBook one. Have a listen to this. So Lenovo is more loud, but Mac has more clarity. And here's a fun part. This cost 1.5 lakh, whereas this cost only 90,000. You decide for yourself. So yeah, this was my top 10 reason why Mac is better than Windows. But like everything else, Mac isn't perfect as well. Like Windows is more widely available. So if you want to play demanding games or if you have a budget of 30, 40, 50,000, then Windows is far better option for you than Mac. But yeah, if you have a good budget and you're thinking of boosting your productivity in long term, then Mac is also something that you can think about. And that's all for now. This is Minal signing off. Pew, pew, pew. Thank you.